Welcome to part five of my Getting to Know Shortcuts A Lot series of videos. In this particular video, I'm going to be showing you the library. The library is accessible through this icon here, where it says, quite understandably, library. Once you click it, this uh, window will pop up and I'll just increase it in size so that we can get a better look at what's going on. Now in here we've got various things that we can uh, access the second we've installed the software. So these are you know, lots of basic shapes that we can use in uh, creating. And you know, I'm just showing you through a few here. There's all sorts of icons, there's Jigsaw, Spring, Summer, loads of swirls. These are fantastic symbols, um, tags, plaques, banners, talk bubbles, some USA things, which obviously if you're in the UK or any other country, probably won't be relevant. Weather icons, winter, and obviously any of your own designs you've saved. So if I go back here, and we can change this to be a different view if you want, so we can get an idea of where they've come from and what they're about, but I prefer this view. We can also increase the size of these icons if we want to by just increasing this slider here. So if we're not particularly gifted in the site region, we've got a much better view of what's going on. You can also type in um, keywords here to search for. Uh, let's try heart. There you go. So it'll bring up all the different hearts that are available. So you can search for shapes through the library. Up here, we've got a little drop down which we can log in, sync library, and download things as well. More about those at another time. These are great because we can just literally drag and drop these onto our work surface and then just play around with them and resize them and do whatever we want to do. If we want to start using fonts, we can get a better idea of what these look like in our font viewer. So if I just choose one of these at random, let's go for this one. And again, I can increase the size if I want to, to get a better view of what's going on. And I can drag these over uh, and load them up in my um, font viewer. So that's one way of looking at fonts. It's a great way if you want to sort of see what something's going to look like. So if I choose hot mustard, we can see that's quite a blocky, but you know, fun and comic -y font. Projects are where we've saved our projects. We've got my projects, project downloads, and recent downloads. I've got nothing in here at the moment. We've got the ability to um, edit and delete or refresh or whatever we want to do, really. So that is the library, just a very, very useful set of basic shapes that we can use in our crafting. For more hints, tips and tutorials, please subscribe to my YouTube channel or visit me on any of these social networking sites.